What's up, YouTube? This is Kay Chin. Today we are talking about the Air Jordan Retro 11 7210. As you all know, this is going to be the Christmas sneaker to get. Um, every year, Jordan brand hits us with a new Jordan 11. This year, we get a new colorway, brand new, with a whole lot of new, never done before features. It's crazy. The official color on these is uh, black, gem red, white, and anthracite. Release date is December 19th, and the price is $220. So, $20 price hike, price, price hike, $20 price hike from last year, $200 mark. Um, honestly, to me, worth it. I am, um, I mean, not worth it because, you know, these, you used to could get them for like $135 years ago. So, but what I mean by worth it is for today's market, I guess it's doable and it's reasonable, especially for what you're getting. So getting into these, uh, and first and foremost, um, for those of you that don't know what 7210 means, it is the... Uh, Chicago Bulls highest scoring season um, I'm sorry not highest highest season of wins basically so they won 72 games and um, that's what that's what they decided to 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 center this shoe around so it's a celebration and um, we've got some special things going on here so as I said before never before seen things we have tumbled leather on the upper in place of the Cordura or Cordura, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it used to be all of 11s except for like the Cool Grays and the Columbia or Legend Blue 11s have Cordura on the top. It's that canvas looking kind of stuff. That's what I used to call it at least. Um, that is being replaced by some very, very nice tumbled leather. Um, so we got a tumbled leather tongue as well. Then coming down to the mud guard, quote unquote, and we have the iridescent patent leather is what they're calling it. To me, it looks like, I don't know if this is what they mean by iridescent patent leather. Um, it looks like just clear patent leather over leather. So it looks like tumbled leather with clear patent leather wrapped on top of it it looks freaking sick it's like you got a all leather basically an all leather air jordan 11 shoe all tumbled leather with clear plat clear patent leather over the uh mud guard and suede on the lace eyelets and suede on the um ankle collar freaking sick freaking dope and then Instead of your regular standard stitched Jumpman logo on the back, <clears throat> you've got a metal plated logo in red, um, signifying the red on the Chicago Bulls, of course. <laughs> uh, and then on the lace tips, you have a two and a three, kind of written like the the two and the three is um, two and the three is on the on the heel on the ankle collar. And speaking of the ankle collar, we have a new thing with that as well. It's not, um, well, actually, in this photo that I'm looking at, it still looks like it is stitched in. Before, it looks like it was just printed in on the early pictures. But I'm, I'm assuming that these are the official pictures. And this is probably what we're going to get for sure in December. But, I mean, who knows? It's, it's only July and... We got a long way to go, so they can change the shoe about three or four more times before December if they wanted to, which I'm sure they will because they always do. But that's the back. Nonetheless, the back is different. Um, the ankle collar is more embossed. It's not stitched in. It's it looks like it's one with the shoe. <clears throat> it's basic. It's seamless, basically around the edges. 
Um, and then the final thing that I wanted to touch on um, is where well, we got a red carbon fiber shank plate on the mid, um, I mean, um, on the outsole. <clears throat> and then the outsole itself is a milky white instead of your standard uh, clear trans translucent so so I mean this one still is translucent but not as translucent as the previous models um, you know a lot of them have that bluish tint to try to stop the yellowing this one has a milky white outsole which I am in love with basically the same type of I <clears throat> same type of outsole that you saw on the KD Christmas eggnog KD7 Christmas eggnog had this same effect. So those of you that those of you that have that shoe or know what I'm talking about, imagine that bottom on a Jordan 11 bottom, and this is and that's what you get with this shoe. Um, I really like it. When I first saw the pictures of this, I wasn't really feeling them, but um, now that I'm actually seeing up close details and seeing pictures of the actual shoe. They are, in fact, a must-have for me. So, um, anyway, that's all I got here. Oh, and by the way, one more thing. They even changed the tongue. On the back of the tongue, it says, In inspired by the most historic season led by the greatest player ever. On the others, it just says, inspired by the greatest player ever. This one goes in, in a little bit more detail. So I think that's a pretty nice touch too. Like this is a very special model, and um, I think it's gonna go down in history as one of those very rare or special, unique shoes. I mean, all 11s usually go up in resale value like crazy, but after about four or five years, I think this one is gonna be skyrocketing. I just really think that because it looks premium and it's made of premium leather tumble leather and there's a lot of details in here that you just don't see on a, on your average Jordan 11 so here's your chance now well or in December to scoop up an Air Jordan 11 that is new to the game I mean they're using parts that losing materials on this shoe that have never been used on a Jordan 11 just look at it that way a lot of people you know Complaining about the so the outsoles how they're mi milky white and all this other stuff about how they didn't stay true to the Air Jordan 11. But people, I mean, what more can you do? They've already released every single original colorway of the Air Jordan 11 that they could. What do you want them to do? Go back and release the breads again? I'm tired of the breads. Like, dope shoe, great shoe, but I'm tired of them. They come out every other year just about it looks like so i'm glad that they finally did something new and um and gave us something new here it's still a quote-unquote bread colorway it's black and red basically but just you know in a in a new way and it's dope so anyway drop your comments below let me know what you think about this shoe will you be copying or not is 220 too much for you or is it doable do you think they're tripping with these prices? Let me know. Um, hopefully they'll look at these comments that people are leaving on YouTube and other websites and finally get it. Like, okay, stop the price hikes. <laughs> I doubt they will because either way, people are going to buy it. But whatever. Can't blame a guy for dreaming. I'll be posting more videos. Um, more review videos and just thoughts and discussion videos. I actually enjoy doing these and it looks like you guys like it too. So leave me a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, see you guys on the next video. Peace.